Hey, welcome back, guys. This is Jason, KM4ACK. Is it possible to power a Raspberry Pi with a radio? Stick around, and we'll get right to it. Real quick, before we get going today, I've got to give a shout-out to these guys. They're my latest patrons over on Patreon. If you'd like to help support the channel, I'll leave a link to Patreon down in the description below. Okay, so this is something that I stumbled across after I purchased the Yezu 817 several months back. So it should work with the 817, 818, and may work with other field radios that also have internal batteries. Something like the ICOM 705 or definitely like the older Yezu 897. So any radio that's got a built-in battery might be able to work with this. But what I did is one of the upgrades to the 817 is I purchased one of the Windcamp batteries off of eBay. And one of the cool things about the uh, Windcamp battery that I found is this charge port on the bottom here. It takes a 5.5 millimeter barrel connector uh, to charge the battery. Well, I'm sitting there looking at it one day and I'm thinking, I wonder if I can get 12 volts out of that port. So I went and dug through the junk box and found a barrel connector uh, or a cable with barrel connectors on both ends. Then I uh, dug around a little bit further and came up with a little buck converter like this. So it's got the barrel connectors on one end and it's got a USB port on the other. And I started plugging things up together. Lo and behold, we can get 12 volts out of that port, run it through the little buck converter, and power a Raspberry Pi. Now, uh, I tried this with a Raspberry Pi 3, and it worked great. The Raspberry Pi 4 gave me low voltage warnings, so there's just not quite enough there. Not sure if it's the buck converter, if it can't draw enough power off of the battery. I'm guessing it's probably the buck converter, but I'm not positive. But anyway, sometimes you got to think outside the box. So if you've got a radio that's got an internal battery, you might look at how you can use it uh, to power a Raspberry Pi. In the test that I am just finished up, I was able to run the Raspberry Pi and the 817 to make a Winlink connection twice a day for almost two weeks. So a lot of power sitting there uh, if you utilize it wisely. All right, guys, I hope this gets you to thinking about how you can power your Raspberry Pi. We'll see you guys on the next video. Until then, 7-3.